Well, what's up guys? It's now one week before splash date. So, trying to wrap up I still a whole list of projects, but some I can do in the water, others I need to get done, such as cleaning off this tape line here. Uh, well, it's just a water line. So, clean up that stuff, and I was hoping to clean up the tarnish and whatnot on the spray rails. So what I had gotten was this all metal polish. It says it cleans it too. Didn't work. But for the water line, this FSR, fiberglass stand remover, it just rocks. Absolutely kills it. Knocks it out of the park. Takes it off two seconds. A nice thick gel. Rub it on down. Boom. Done. So stick around. I love you. down, let it sit for a few, come back with a wet rag, wipe it back off, easy enough. About 6.30, 6.35. I'm gonna end the day here. The missus will have my head because I'm down here just about every night till seven o'clock, so. But, that's it. Got the top off, finally. Can uh, start waxing her tomorrow. I mean, she don't look too bad. That's just little stupid scuffs. But, another big thing here love the new logo that's it the helm all done all wrapped up and finished so now i can start building this which if it rains tomorrow which it probably will because that's spring in new england of course but if it rains tomorrow i'm going to start running hydro lines the helm and the cables oh planning on trying to buff and wax at least the hull today but that's out of the picture because it rained all day and the hull's wet so hydro lines came in and cables so you can get that started at least another day of crawling through some tight spaces just what i wanted to do but it's gotta get done so. of course my hydro lines are somewhere Somewhere up in, somewhere up against this fuel tank. And yeah, trying to get to her. Oh, such a good time. Those fresh black cables that come out of that white pipe. Running across. Across into here. And tried to make them as neat as I could, but. Like I said, it's kind of battling this mess anyway. All right, today's a buff and wax day. At least the haul. And try to clean up the spray rail again. Brought some, I don't know, copper cream. It says it's for brass. It cleans, so. Took it from the house, for sure. The missus will be real thrilled about it when it's not at the house. She goes looking for it, so. Here we go. Just put a coat of that stuff on and wiped it off real quick. I mean, you probably let it sit for 10, 15 minutes. Probably. I mean, she looks good, but honestly, I hate brass or bronze or whatever the hell this is. Much rather stainless. So, maybe a project for next year, but that stuff worked. I mean, you can still see this. Still some stuff stuck to it, but I don't know. This is what it is for now. Alright, just put a coat of wax on.
locked up wax in the port side I mean look at that mirror finish not bad for a hack job still got the starboard side to do and then obviously the house and whatnot but I don't know might just pay somebody to do the house once the boat's in the water because it's kind of beyond the point of what I can do um, it's got a pretty good cloud and chalk to it so someone's gonna put some time in and do it and do it right rather than me come in and try to hack it so I don't know decisions decisions at this point like I said I'm trying to get everything under the water line ready to go for Monday so today's Wednesday tomorrow will be Thursday come down take care of the starboard side get that all wrapped up and then um, Saturday or Sunday I'll be starting the engine make sure everything's good um, yeah and then trying to finish the hydros and the cables for the new steering system or the new um, helm another day back at it on Sunday because uh, the old man decided to go to St. John's and put me behind schedule so now he gets to deal with trying to figure out how to hook up the lines so hopefully get everything installed in this can run some barnacle buster through the engine just to kind of give it a little clean um supposedly the engine was acid washed a couple of years ago but or a year ago so rather do it just to be safe story time so this helm project's really turned into a complete nightmare um, over the past few days. So, got these all in, got the pump in, hooked everything up to the piston, which is in that hatch there. But, upon filling up, kept hearing a hissing noise, and I'm like, man, you know, that just doesn't sound right. So I look under, we end up having a leak. So the way she she was leaking from somewhere up in there, I can't remember exactly where. But so of course it come messed up from factory or through shipping. So then we go to hook up controls inside of the house, and it was just such a we're just battling, 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 battling. The cables are probably just long enough to make it to where they need to go. So it turned into one of those things where. It's just been non-stop, but um, yeah, I had to cut a whole bunch of cables down in here, and now I'm gonna have to put all those back, but everything's in and working for now, and what you guys are gonna end up seeing next is us putting in this this new pump. We got the new pump, new helm pump, I should say. So that's going in tonight, so stick around. Yeah. 
issue with the shift to get the boat into reverse, so we'll have to tweak that and do whatever we gotta do, so. This is what it is. It's always something. But like I said, it was hard to figure it out out of the water just because, you know, you're not running the gear, so. But once we get back to the dock, we'll end up fixing that up. That's it, we're in the water, here she lies. She's in. Of course, we played around with the new uh, element controls we put in, and I don't know. There's nothing, you can't find any real directions on how to dial these in. It's just tightening and loosening bolts and nuts to get slack out of them, and nothing really helpful. So, but it's in, finally. Next, it'll be redo the deck paint non-skid and then fix up all this probably bring this paint back down to the top of here so it kind of blends a little bit better but hooray all done so now start seeing better content more videos of us fishing and not just working on the boat so thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and follow